Hello and good day. So I'm coming today with another story. Um, so I had a, um, a young lady that reached out to me. Um, she said that she, she felt like she was under attack. Now, her case started with, um, she said a guy reached out to her on social media. All right, so she didn't know this guy, never seen him before, but he just reached out on social media. Um, she said for some reason, even though she wasn't feeling the guy, she, I mean, she didn't like him at all. She said she just started to communicate back and forth um, with this guy. Then she said she started saying stuff like he was her uh, soulmate. And she also said she, she's a lot younger. She's like in her early 20s. And she said this guy was was much, much older than her. Um, <clears throat> so, again, he, he was telling her things like uh, they were soulmates. And, you know, just giving her a lot of uh, a lot of compliments. Now, she said that she started to like back away and really not respond as much or she wasn't responding as quickly to his, uh, you know, to, to, to his messages or whatever. <clears throat> and then she said she noticed that she started having night nightmares and she was being chased. So this const constant dreams of her being um her being chased um she also said that uh she saw well she said that the guy told her like he sent her a message one day and he told her that he saw her walking in her hallway and he described her hallway to a t and um she couldn't understand this at all so uh normally when this is happening you're dealing with a warlock so this is a male witch. So they are able able to do something that's called remote viewing. Again, this is a gift, just like every other gift. Um, you can use this gift for good or for bad. So of course he's using it for bad. Um, also, uh, warlocks are able to do something called astral projection. So this is when they can leave out of their bodies and you know come into your space to see exactly what you're doing. All right, um, so she said she just started to feel funny. So she asked the guy, she said, uh, she sent him a message and she asked him, she said, uh, do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in God? <clears throat> and she said she never got a clear answer. Um, something that I tell people, whenever you're asking people about God, you have to be very specific because if you ask somebody, do they believe in God? They can easily say yes. And if it be Lucifer, it could be Satan. It could be something else that's dark. So you want to ask, do you believe in the most high God? Do you believe in Yeshua? If not, you'll get tricked. Uh, you get tricked from that. They'll trick you up. Um, so anyway, he never responded. And um, so she decided to uh, she decided to block him. So she blocked him. <clears throat> now, the crazy thing about it, um, she blocked him. And she said she noticed that she started feeling something touching her, like on her chest and touching her all over on her, you know, touching her on her breast as well. Now, she started to notice that she started having sexual dreams as well. She started having a lot of sexual dreams. So she, she felt like this was tied to this guy. She said she started having uh, sleep paralysis as well. So, you know, that's when you feel like you just can't move, something is holding you down. Um, then she told me that she started to feel a, a tongue in her ear. She said she started to feel a tongue moving in her ear and like a tongue that was sliding down in her, in her throat. Um, something else that she started noticing, she said her, all of her energy left. So she had no energy whatsoever, no matter how much sleep that she was getting. So again, she she kept saying I, I know something's going on and I know that it's somehow attached to this guy. She was explaining to me how uh, she would tuck herself in her comforter and she would feel something trying to pull her comforter off. Um, she continued to have nightmares too and she was saying with these bad dreams um, and one of the dreams she said that she saw a octopus that was a uh, coming from underneath her so it was like this uh octopus that was coming from underneath her body in a dream so whenever you start seeing stuff like that in your dreams 
this is letting you know that you're dealing with marine spirits um after that dream she said she had another dream and she started seeing water that was just uh coming from her ceiling so again water octopus it's all, all connected all attached to uh the marine world the, the marine kingdom which is uh satan's kingdom in the abyss in the water um she also said in one of her dreams that a fish swam up to her and kissed her in the mouth again this is a marine spirit these are demonic spirits these are demons you have octopus uh octopus spirits you have squid spirits um you just have a lot of different things that are under the water so this fish swam up to her and it kissed her um in the mouth she said after that she started noticing that she had an odor that was coming from her vagina um, and she said this odor was bad uh, she couldn't understand it she didn't have an infection she got checked out everything was good but this odor uh, <clears throat> that constantly kept constantly kept coming from her um, now she said she had a uh, another dream she said her dreams was just rolling in every night with different dreams so she also said that she had a dream and um, in this dream she pulled a camera out of her mirror that was in her bedroom so this dream was basically telling her that these spirits were monitoring they were monitoring her monitoring her through this uh through the mirror so that's why they call monitoring spirits so this warlock was watching her through this mirror as well <clears throat> so you know mirrors also serve as uh portals which are doorways for demonic spirits to get in and out or just simply for them to just be able to sit back and um and watch you she said she had a dream that she saw a man walk through the mirror so again this was nothing uh, more but showing her that this was a portal this was a doorway how uh spirits had access to her and how they was getting in and out then she started eating in her dream so everything was just picking up and um you know of course whenever you're eating eating in your dreams it's not good and when you're eating uh this is a way for these demonic spirits to load your body with more demons so it appears to look like foods desserts but it's it's actually it's, it's body parts of uh the demonic spirits that you're eating she said in one of the dreams one of the demonic spirits injected um something in her body so i've also heard this as well uh, so she was injected with uh injected with something <clears throat> then her her finances was definitely under attack um she was like everything just slowed down um her money was just just always going out she could never hold on to money <clears throat> having issues on the job she said she ended up losing her job and um she has a nice resume but when she was applying for jobs no one would ever call her back so she was like she couldn't understand this and some of the jobs she started applying for was jobs that she knew that there were no doubt like jobs that was even uh that were underpaying what she really wanted she was going to accept it but she couldn't even get those jobs so everything was being blocked so she was dealing with depression anxiety just dealing with suicidal thoughts so uh she had a lot that was going on like she was dealing with i'm um, gonna work with a lot of females dealing with these warlocks these male witches and um that's something that they're known to do they're known to like monitor you from um wherever they're at they can see you um can tell you i've had uh situations where they even told the women what they were eating the way they had their hair i mean all types of things even when i started helping a lady one time to stop that and block it the warlock uh told her we sent her a message and he said i know that you're working with somebody I could tell that you're working with somebody because I was able to do something to cage his gift so he could no longer use his remote viewing so he was no longer to see anything and um I, you know I said some prayers and I just totally just cut him off from her so he just faded off and um he stopped contacting her so again this stuff is real so I'm trying to bring these videos trying to every day so you can get this information you can get this knowledge so you can understand this stuff because a lot of people, they really don't understand it. But everyone have a great day.